PLU students hit the track last weekend to raise over $20,000 for Relay for Life. Relay for Life is an annual 18-hour walk to help bring awareness to cancer. PLU students share why they Relay. Yeah, I didn't know about Relay until PLU got one. So it's one of the events that um, I think does a wonderful job of bringing out the PLU community and really reaches people um, in places that we don't always know about. Um, I Relay because of three people I know who have cancer. Um, my grandma had lung cancer, a girl at my school had bone cancer, and a very special family friend had terminal um, liver cancer. So I Relay for them. I'm looking for my great-grandfather, John Fletcher, my great-aunt, Ellen Fletcher, and my other great-aunt, um, Gladys Cox. My name is Sarah Stewart, and I'm looking for Holly Muirs, who was my friend and hairdresser for over 10 years and recently passed away in the last couple of months. Hi, I'm Bethany Pettig. I'm Paige Griffin, and I'm walking for my uncle who survived brain tumor. And I'm walking for my godmother who's on her second round of breast cancer right now. Hi, my name is Brooke McIntyre, and I'm relaying for my grandma Nanny, my grandpa Howard, and Pam Blair, who is currently a survivor from cancer. My name is Keith. My name is Jackie. And we walk for him. <laughs> My name is Michelle Wee. In February of 2006, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. We didn't know if I would live or if I would die. My daughter was 15 at that time. And she became my sole caretaker at that time also. Um, luckily, I, after about four months of chemotherapy and three months of radiation, I survived breast cancer. I get to celebrate today being a survivor. Hi, I'm Colby. I'm walking for my mom. She had breast cancer. I relay for my grandmother who has had breast cancer, my aunt who's had breast cancer, and also for my husband who in the 11 years we've been together has had both testicular cancer and a kidney cancer. So for those three people, selfishly I relay and also for the hope that nobody else has to go through cancer that we hope begin to find cures across the board. Over 300 community members and students turned out to support the cause. 